hey, what's up, guys? Actually, I got the headphones on. What's up, guys? It's your man. Make a family vlog. I'm out here. Actually, I'm in Manila right now today. I'm seeing a friend of mine, actually. He's a family friend. I haven't seen him in like 20 years. And he's now in the Philippines with his wife. He has a wife in the Philippines. So I'm just out here. Just want to meet him up. We're going to meet up. And I just want to take over because my wife is not here. She couldn't make it. She is um, not feeling too well. So I promised her that I'd take the vlog and I'd take some video for this for her. And just let you know that I'm actually out here in Manila today. And um, I think I'm right across from National University. Let me see. What is it called? National Institute of something, University of Philippines. So I'm like right across the street. Um, National In Institutes of Health. So I'm across the National Institute for Health University. So I'm just walking here in Manila. So if you want to see, this is like this is Manila, and this is that's the university right there. So that's where I'm at. So just want to give you guys some heads up. We're about to do some videos, and hopefully, you know, take some stuff here in Manila today. I see you guys in a bit. Hello, this is the Make It Family vlog. I have my friend Richard Davis who's here from Oklahoma, family member and friend. Yes, I have a white brother, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> my brother and his son is Sean. He's right there. Say hi, Sean, if you like. Sean, can, Sean, you, say can you say hello? He's shy. He's shy. Sean is shy, but it's okay. He's shy. He's Filipino, so they, you know they're shy. So we're sitting here, and we're not going to do this long because we're in Jollibee. But I wanted to have some video of my brother because I haven't seen him in 20 years. It's been a fast, I can't believe it's been 20 years. I know. Uh, fast and long at the same time. I know, right? But, yeah, it's so great to see you now. Yeah, yeah of course. Of course, brother. It's so always good to see you, man. And not only that, he has a Filipino wife. So he's been through the process of um, meeting her, coming here, the dating, the um, K9 visa situation. He's an expert at it. Actually, um, they're in um, Oklahoma, but they're here visiting. So I wanted to see him while I was here. And normally I would ask him a whole bunch of questions, but we're at Jollibee. <laughs> and the most important thing is that I have him on video. So my mother. <laughs> Hi, Mom. <laughs> You know, Miss Brenda. <laughs> so, Miss Robinson. So, Mom, this is for you. So, we actually have video footage of us together. So, I know you're happy. And um, just by the way, Richie, you want to say anything? Give some shouts up tonight? Uh, yeah, just a uh, hello to you, Brenda and Tony and uh, everybody else out there. Uh, here in Manila, having an awesome time. Uh, eating great food, meeting wonderful, wonderful people. Uh, Seeing my wife's family uh, is always a joy. Uh, it's just been a great visit. Uh, two weeks just is not long enough. Uh, I'm trying to get him to move here, but I don't think I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> um, I'd be willing to move here. Uh, my wife, not so much. <laughs> and, that, and there goes the problem. <laughs> So, it's back to Oklahoma for us. Like. Yeah, it's back to Oklahoma. Fortunately, my wife hasn't been there yet, so she doesn't know. <laughs> but I think I have the same problem once we'll go visit. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to. And my wife also. So Anton, this is your uncle Richard. Hello, and, Anton. And my wife, this is Richard, my brother. And uh, you know, we're brothers from another mother. <laughs> I mean, literally, we can't be biological. <laughs> the genetics get complicated. I know, right? Uh, but it's America, you never know, right? It's exactly. exactly. <laughs> it does happen, so. <laughs> but no, this is, this is uh, my brother from a long time. He's been a fan of the family for a long time. And like I said, it's a shame that it's been 20 years, but you look good. Yeah, yeah, everything's, uh, everything's been great. You look great, so. Uh, and it's nice to be able to come to the Philippines and, and see somebody I haven't seen forever. I know, right? Uh, I know. I had to make a trip. I came from Colombo to here to see him. And he brought some goodies, by the way. Um, I, I will show you this bag, but it's like, 
it's 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 Sour Patch Kids and Twizzlers and all this candy. So uh, this is for actually, you know, so we eat this, my family. Okay. As soon as they see anything American, I get nothing. I, I have to like store in a whole separate place. Yeah. <laughs> so this is not for me. This is for them. Um, but I do have a question to ask you. Um, since you've been here, what do you think of the culture here, and how have you adjusted to? Um, Several points of view on culture. Uh, first off, uh, very, very family oriented. Uh, everybody, extended families, things like that is the norm. I, it's really nice to see. I, I love it. Uh, I love meeting the family, the family I have met. Um, it just feels like meeting my own family, really. Um, the people are happy. Um, just the people on the street. I've been. Uh, walking around the streets a lot lately, uh, and I've, I've seen everybody from reasonably wealthy people to pretty poor people, but everybody tries to put a smile on their face and has a bright outlook in life, and it's, it's a happy, happy culture. Um, uh, at least in the area that I'm in now, it's been kind of interesting, because I'm near a, uh, a fairly heavy Muslim district, and it's nice to see um, people from various religions all rubbing elbows, um, getting along. what looks to me great. Uh, yeah, so, um, the food is, is good here. Um, I, I really enjoyed most of the food. Some of it's a little too sweet for me, but uh, all the salty sour foods I absolutely love. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah they, they love the sweetening here. Yes, yeah. Oh, sweet. yes. <laughs> <laughs> what, what would somebody tell you if that's a third world country? What would you think of your third world country? This is not a third world country. It's, if I had to categorize it, I, I would say it's a progressive country. Uh, yeah, they, uh, it's, they're obviously building, there's lots of industry going on here, I see skyscrapers, uh, uh, modern apartment buildings going up. Uh, now, when you get to the downtown area, the nitty gritty area, yeah, it's, uh, it's uh, people sleeping on the streets, uh, but again, the weather kind of permits it, but I mean, it's obviously not a good situation, so, uh, but I think as a whole, the, the country's really progressing and, and doing a great job. Uh, I see emphasis on education happening here. Uh, uh, just even uh, a, a couple of the graffitis on the wall where I saw education is a right. Yeah. I, I, th I think that kind of protest is a, is a positive thing. So. You know, the number one thing I noticed was when you say education, they celebrate education here. Like, they'll put a tarpaulin or a banner for somebody graduating school or something here. Thank you. Hello. So we got the food from Jolly Bee. <laughs> so it's, it's education is celebrated a lot more here, and I, I think. Like, they appreciate it. Like, when somebody graduates from college, it's like, okay, congratulations. Here, they'll put up a tarp and, and put congratulations on it. And things like that. That's one thing I really noticed about when it comes to education. It's very big here. But the food is here. So I just want to say thank you to Richard for this um, interview, for just speaking on camera. We, you know, just be here. Well, thank you Richard. too, Mikel. And uh, yeah, it's a pleasure to, to be able to speak to you. Over this. Of course, of course. And so we're going to go. He's going to take, he has Jolly B and a wife is waiting. So <laughs> that means. <laughs> got spaghetti and a coat cloak. So, um, yes, I better get this going no and, uh, or I'll be in trouble. Yes, yeah, so we'll see you later. Take care. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Thanks. Take care, everyone. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your man, Mikkel, from the Making Family Video Log, and I'm on my way out to Makati today. Actually, I'm in Makati now. I've been in Manila. I've been to um, Pasai, Pasig. Now I'm going to Makati. I'm on my way out. But I just want to thank Richard for his interview and meeting his son. Son, Sean is very nice to meet you and your son. And congrats for everything that you're doing. The taxi driver just gave me money. So, hey, make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to our videos. And make sure that you hit this link up here, right here, for another video, all right? And I got a mask on because you got to protect yourself. It's 2022. We still in the pandemic, even though people don't think that we're in one. Make sure you protect yourself. Wear a mask at all times and cover yourself and be take thankful for what you have. Thank you so much. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace.